this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I told you I would be back on here because I wanted to I wanted to address something. Oh my God. I think I've been addressing this, but I think also um uh, something happened. Okay, I'm just gonna be real with you. And <laughs> I'm trying to be nice about it. Um praise God, praise God. Um men, a lot of men, women too, but most but mostly men. They get so intimidated of because of my anointing. So I'm gonna try to walk this thing out a little bit, okay? I mean, you're gonna still feel the way you feel because if you really, oh, I'm going here, I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. If you knew who I was in the spirit, the first thing you wouldn't dishonor God because whoever God honors, you're supposed to honor. So you right there, you dis, you disrespectful to the spirit of God. Forget me, I ain't that, I get that. You know what I'm saying? So let me walk this thing out because I'm so tired of the subliminal messages. You know. First of all, everybody have my business number. Call me. Call me. <laughs> Inbox me if you want to know something. That's the first thing, second thing, and third thing. First of all, and, and the fourth, fifth, I don't know how many things I got to address on here. I don't owe any of you any explanation. God called me, and you can't stop me. I'm not trying to be arrogant. not trying to be, you can't stop. I, I couldn't even stop it. How you going to stop it? That's right. How are you going to stop something that I tried to stop myself? You can't. Get over it. Get over it. Because here's the deal. Y'all keep trying to act like women are not supposed to preach. The devil is a liar. Hallelujah. Don't get mad at me because I'm about my father's business. Hallelujah. So let me walk this thing out. I'm going to try to help you a little bit. A little bit. I said a little bit. Because the Holy Spirit, if you ain't listening to the Holy Spirit, I don't know if you're going to hear me. Hold on. Okay, so Deborah was not only a prophetess, all right? She was the fourth judge of all of Israel. Have you read your Bible? Because of all of it, wait a minute, Israel had men in it, right? So she was the fourth judge of all of, <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to be cynical. Come on, it's right there. Uh, let me walk it out some more, hold on. I'm gonna walk it out some more for you because y'all are trip. And I, I and honestly, um, hold on, hold on. I got to tell y'all about the story. Oh, uh, man. And, and I guess one of the things that really, I have to be honest with you. I was very, I guess I was very surprised from this person. You know, we, we are friends, I think. And you keep coming at me sideways instead of come and just ask me. So I'm going to go ahead and do it publicly. Since you're doing it, because you did it publicly, you just didn't say my name. And we're not being messy. But I'm, I'm telling you, thus saith the Lord, back up off me before God punish you. And that is a thus saith the Lord. I'm telling you what God said. Because you keep trying to come at me, oh, you, you can't be an apostle. You God? Because the last assistant God had was fired. I'm just saying. So let me tell you about Deborah and Barak. Now, Barak was king of Israel. Okay. All right. So God had commanded him to lead an attack against the forces of Jab and king of Canaan. And this is Judges 4, 6, and 7. Read your Bible. The entire narrative in chapter 4, and basically I'm just going to go ahead because I, I'm not going to go ahead and um, make this thing out long. Barak wouldn't even go to war without Deborah because she was strong. I'm just being real. So she said, now, now I, I don't mind going with you, she said, but here's what's going to happen. It's going to be said that a woman won the battle. He said, I don't care. I just need you. It, hold on. Hold on. Thank you, Lord. He wanted me to slow it down. It wasn't about man and woman. It was about spiritual unity, spiritual authority, working together. Y'all keep trying to fight God on who he called when that might be the person you need. Oh, hallelujah. I'm just being real. Back up off me because I ain't no soft dude. He chose me for a reason. And I love you. I'm not mad at you. But you keep you keep making videos. So God told me to answer you in a video. Okay? And don't worry. You you won't you won't see this video because I'm gonna send it to your inbox. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and I want you to know I love you. I love you. But you're wrong. And I'm not gonna call you jealous because I ain't that type. But I will say this. And this is for everybody. Now, now, this is for everybody. Before y'all come against a man, a woman, a God, you must get authority. You must be authorized. 
especially publicly, are God going to get you? And that could be me too. I have never, I'm going to say it again, I have never said or thus said the Lord that God didn't tell me to say. I've never come against anybody or anyone, hallelujah, man, female, whoever, unless God said it. And, and hold on, I better get double confirmation. Man, y'all doing too much because I'm going to be real with you. Because you do feel some type of way. And, and we're going to go ahead and, and crush just two. I know I'm powerful. That's not arrogance. That's the confidence I must have because the enemy is after your confidence. He's always trying to make you think that you are not who you're called to be. So in order to stand like God says, oh, I'm about to preach this thing. God says, Deanna, you must see yourself as I see you. So the power of agreement so I can anoint you and appoint you and sustain you. Hallelujah. I couldn't do this but by God. What you talking about? Because anybody I know that did in the flesh, they go down. It's been 24 years. Perfect, no, but I've been faithful to the calling. Hallelujah to his name. And I just thought you deserved this because you're very special to my heart. <laughs> I know I'm silly, but I'm, I'm, I'm just, but stop, just stop, just stop, just stop, just stop. When you don't understand something, just, just go to God, go to God and let God be God. Now that's all I got to say about the matter. I'm done. And I promise you, I would not address this again because I, I just can't. I only addressed it because you're really special. You really are. You know, you're like my little brother, you know. But you need to grow up a little bit, a lot, actually. Wait on God. Don't, don't, be, don't be so quick to speak about another. And, and, and I had to learn that myself. I had to learn that. I, I get it. I had to learn that because we do be in our feelings. But it, it could backlash you because God says, and I'm going to end it with this, touch not my anointed. And do my prophets no harm. Oh my God, that stuff is real. I had to learn that the hard way. I promise you that's real. And that's all I'm going to say on the matter. Because that's all God said to say. I'm not going to say no more. All right, so God bless you. God keep you. And this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Hold on, let me say that again. And this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.